back. I think it dropped a connection. I think YouTube dropped us. Can you guys hear me? Hopefully. I apologize, guys. That was not me. That was that was YouTube. Okay, great. Thanks, Catherine. Sorry about that, guys. YouTube dropped us for some reason. That was just really, really weird. Yay! Okay, wonderful. Sorry about that. Okay, where I left off. Make sure that you bring all your images in together after you've got them uploaded. I'm just going to backtrack just a little bit here. Um, did you guys see me slice off of the image? I hope. Going to give it just a second and get, let some people get back in here. Okay, I'll go back and do that. Um, so make sure you upload all your images that you're going to use. And it's going to take that a minute to come in. It's extremely large. I had it already sized for you guys. Let's bring that down to five inches. Um, now I know that it used to be on mobile devices, if you sliced a print and cut image, it would turn gray. I don't know if it still will do that or if they have fixed it. So if you... <laughs> so if you can't, I will fix that music, guys. I, th I didn't realize it was as loud as it is. Um, but if you can't slice in your own mobile, you'll just have to find something that you want to use for your base. Um, I just decided to use this one, and all I did was put a square over it and slice it, okay? And got rid of the trash, and that left me with this piece right here. But their bottoms don't match up, okay? And I had already fixed all of that. So what I did was I got a circle, and I just flattened it out just a little bit, made it a little bit smaller. And I came in here, unlocked, kind of ovaled it up, and then I sliced that out of there. Only two layers. You can only slice two layers at a time and slice. And then I can get rid of that, get rid of that, and it gives me that little divot. And I just did the same thing. I just flipped it and resized it over here. Just gonna unwind and just slice that out just to give me that base and you're never gonna get both of them to slice the same way again so but you could see here what I ended up with over there and just work with it and get your own base now you can do it on a computer again if you're on mobile you may not be able to do that and you can see that her bottom doesn't quite meet up there and that's okay um, I'll show you how I fix that you can get these images, Myrna, on Design Bundles. There's a link down below, and you want to go to Design Bundles and search Bestie Clip Art. Okay? Make sure you're searching Bestie Clip Art, and it will bring everything up for you.
Okay, now let me try that. That's what you want to search, okay? So now I've got all of my images here. I'm just going to ungroup them. I've got to ungroup several times because I'm going to change out one of the hairdos. Uh, okay, so we're ungrouped. Nope, we're not ungrouped. Detach. I need to attach them. I'm not sure what stage I was at. But you can see I've got all of my pieces here that I wanted to use. So the first thing I did was bring in, I call their bottoms, they call them pants. So I brought their bottoms in and sat them how I wanted them in here. And then I brought my wine bottle in and that's a little extra that they have. And this is not going to be exact to my other one because I didn't check sizing and everything and that's why I hid my other one because I've already printed it and I'm going to get into how you guys do that. So I set my bottoms down on top of that. You want to start with your base layer and then you're going to work up from there. So you may have to move to the front, move to the back, that sort of thing. And the shirts come in all different colors and you can put those in how you want them. And you're just going to size them up like you want okay it's bigger or smaller or however you want to do it there's even some curvy besties guys so you have everything you need when you search those elements I want that wine bottle to kind of be sitting to the back so I am going to see if I can get it and move it to the front now so I want it right there you can see where it was cut off so once you have everything there, I can get rid of this too. You can go in and put in their shoulders because these are sleeveless shirts. So you're going to want to have some shoulders in there. And again, you'll have to size those up to fit in there. You can see how that doesn't fit well on that shirt. That one's too light. So you may want to go with a darker skin tone on the lighter shirts, things like that. And you just want to set them down in there and size them up to where they look pretty close to what you think they should be. And then you can choose your hairstyles. I'm going to arrange and move that to the front. And you can put those on there. And she's looking that way. She's kind of looking that way. I want it to look the other way, so I'm going to flip it horizontal. And now they're both kind of looking the same way. Okay. So you need to play around and lay it out how you want. Once you've done that, you're going to select everything. I'm going to get rid of this hairstyle. You're going to select everything and you're going to attach. And it may take it just a minute and then it'll appear. Again, you're working with PNGs and you want to do these files separately. You don't want to try to do 10 or 12 of them in the same canvas. You want to start a new project for each individual one. Okay, I'm just going to say, you will bog down your design space with all these PNGs. So once you have that done, you're going to duplicate it. And it should pop up in just a second. There it is. Now we have it duplicated. Our next step is to take this from a print to a no fill, which means we're changing it to cut. Oops, look at all those lines. What's going to happen if I cut those? It's going to cut everywhere you see these lines. It's all going to cut. We don't want that. So you're going to have to weld that. And then you've got all these little bitty lines in here. The next step you want to take after you've done that is contour. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to hide all contours. And now that kind of cleans up all that on the inside. Now it looks a little bit better. We still have these little hairs up here on her head. If you're cutting water slides or stickers or something like that, on this base layer, we're going to change it to white because white does not print. I'm just going to leave it gray for now so you guys can see it. But white doesn't print. So you're going to want to change that. And you may even want to 
because I'm putting mine on glass or if you're putting it on a coffee cup and you're using the clear water slides this won't matter if you're using white water slide to go on a dark background it will matter okay because everywhere that this is covered in will be white okay um, where it doesn't print so I can with uh, this I can weld that in there and it's not gonna matter on a clear water slide but I'll have a big white spot right there and it may not matter to you it depends on your project you have to watch that so some of these holes you may not want to close up if you're using the material for dark objects so I'm just gonna weld that in there because I don't want that to cut out I should have duplicated my circle but I didn't and then all of these little scraggly places with her hair I don't want I don't want a reason for my water slide to be able to crinkle and lift up there so I'm gonna get rid of that just by kind of duplicating and bringing in and beefing this up just a little bit okay just to kind of smooth out those edges and then I'm gonna weld that and I know it looks a little funky right now but it'll be okay trust me so the next thing I need I've used the Yessi font here and you can get that on Creative Fabrica, I think. I want to put that there, but I want, you need to pay attention to whatever you're putting it on and what the background is. I am putting mine on a shadow box frame with a photo behind it. So whatever color I make this needs to pop. And I didn't think about that when I originally did it, and I think it's gonna be okay. But if the base of my photo is dark, I'm going to want to make this either um, a pale gray, lightly silver, something that will be close to white or a light color. And if it's a light photo, you can go dark with it. And then you just want to align that and center it horizontally or however you want to do it. And then I'm just going to, oops, how did I do that? my goofs there it is I'm gonna duplicate it just so I have it and I know where it's gonna be actually I don't need to duplicate it not really I'm just gonna go in and get a shape I'm gonna get a square and now I'm going to beef up these edges because that's just gonna drive my take this and I'm going to align it I'm gonna change that to white arrange and send it to the back and I'm going to align center and you can see where I beefed up all of this right here in the white behind that and that's okay okay I'm gonna bring this in bring it right up to about right there and I'm gonna make that white I'm gonna arrange send it to the back then I'm just gonna slide those out, that out of the way. Oops, not that one. I'm gonna undo. I wanna make sure it's still lined up exactly where I had it. This is my only drawback with working with PNGs. They take up space and sometimes they're... I'm gonna select that one and select the back. I just wanted to make sure that I had my best friend's wording where it needed to be that my square was going to be big enough and then I am going to weld just those two not my best friends just those two I'm going to send that to the back I'm going to bring this back in I'm going to line that up I'm going to align it center horizontally and then we're going to select it all and flatten now watch the layers panel. You see all of these different layers because her hair, her shirts, everything are all different. And I just scooted that over. I didn't wanna, that was too far. That's better. That's a little long on that side. You're gonna measure also your item that you're putting, putting it on before you do anything. 
So I'm going to select it all and then flatten. And now you can see that it's one single layer. And it's telling me um, my image is too large for print and cut. There's my print and cut area. So if you see that triangle right there, you know something's wrong. So I'm just going to bring it down until my triangle disappears and it's within the print and cut registration area. Okay? 6.75925 is your max for print and cut. Okay? So now it's all flattened together and it's one single image. And that's what you're looking for. You need one single layer. And that's how I got there. And it's not going to cut roughly. It's little areas may uh, cut roughly. I'm going to bring in the one that I've actually already done. And it's already sized because I'm going to show you guys cutting it. Um, this one's already done and it's ready to go. I've got everything like I wanted it. And then I hit make it. So now that I'm in here on make it. Depending on how you're going to use your image. If you're going to do it on a cup, fantastic, wonderful. If you're going to do it on a frame, like I am, then you're going to need to mirror it. Because I am putting mine on the inside of the glass. And on the inside of the glass, that way they can clean the glass, clean the frame, and it won't damage the water slide. Okay? So... That's where I'm putting mine, so that is why I am mirroring. And then we're just going to hit continue. And you're going to send it to your printer. When you click send to printer, if you're on the white material for dark objects, you want to leave your bleed on. The bleed is what keeps you from having a white edge around these edges where it cuts, okay? So that it cuts smoothly. So you would leave your bleed on. The only time I turn off my bleed is when I'm using a clear material, like now. So I am going to turn off my bleed, and I'm going to turn on the system dialog. And then I'm going to click print. It's in the first part of the video, Kim, design bundles, and I have a link down below. If you guys use my link, I appreciate it. It does earn me a small commission. It helps me pay for these clip arts and things like that when I have to show you guys how to use them, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. In case any of you missed that in the first part when YouTube dropped us. So once you click that, you can slide your window down. Now mine's going to pop up on my main screen, but it's going to pop up behind your window, this screen right here, okay? What I change mine to is I go in and I select my rear tray. If you don't have a rear tray, it's okay. Make sure you print on copy paper before you use your water slide materials. And cut it. Make sure that it's cutting properly like you want it on copy paper before you use your water slides. Because water slides are not cheap, guys. They're like $20 a pack. I think you get 20 sheets. So they're about a buck a piece. So you want to print on copy paper and test everything before you go further. But I'm selecting rear tray because that's the way I like to print mine and I know that my material won't jam. Um, and then I'm going to select best print quality and then click print. Now I've already done this so I'm going to back out of it. And then you're going to get it off of your printer and bring it to your mat. And that's where we are now. So let's pop over um, to the overhead. So now I have printed mine. The next thing you need to do after printing, and you can see that I have no bleed up here on the top area. And that's because I turned off the bleed. There's not going to be any bleed down here because it's white anyway. So I have sprayed mine, and you can see it's nice and glossy now. This paper, guys, is not glossy. I use the uh, Rolarius brand, and it, this is what it looks like. You have a dull side, a matte side, and a shiny side. The shiny side is the side you're going to print on. 
The water slide material is on Amazon. I have a link for Amazon down below. I think I have a link for water slide. I will get that for you guys if I don't have it on there. Just ask me for it. I'll be happy to supply it. Or you can just use my basic link and, and look up water slide decal and it'll pop in. But this is the Rolarius and it is transparent, clear. You need to pay attention to that when you're purchasing because if I use this clear on um, a black coaster, you're never going to see it. Okay, so that would be when you need to use the white. But I am putting mine on glass so the clear is fine or if you're putting it on a coffee cup. This is not water slide. This is sublimation. And I'm just going to point out, sublimation, I don't. I hope the camera picks that up. Sublimation will scratch and come off too. So it depends on how you want to do and, and what you want to do. But it will scratch, it will come off over time. Water slide will come off faster than sublimation will. But it's a great decorative material. I love it for that. I love it for epoxy tumblers when epoxy's going over it. Yes, thank you for reminding me, Jamie. Now, I like mine on gloss for the glass, and you're just going to seal this with acrylic spray. You can use the matte, you can use gloss, whatever. If your machine is having trouble seeing it, you can put the scotch tape over your bounding box, and it will read it, okay? So, if it's not reading it, thank you for that, Sue. If it's not reading it, it may be because of the reflection, okay? So I am going to send this over to the printer, and I am cutting on cardstock for intricate cuts. So it's going to cut twice. Actually, hopefully I won't mess myself up. I think I'm just going to go cardstock. Let me get a fresh mat because that one's not sticky and I don't want to cause myself an issue. So we're just going to, and I put three coats on mine guys. Um, and you can, I actually on this one use Mod Podge Acrylic Spray. It is not Mod Podge, but it's Mod Podge brand. It is an acrylic spray. I actually prefer the Krylon brand. So I'm just going to put that on the mat, and then I'm going to send it over and put it into the maker and have it cut. I think I'm just going to go with cardstock. So now we have that cutting. While it's cutting, I'll come back over for you. Those who missed it, we'll go back over to Design Bundles. Let me pull that up. over there while that's cutting. It's reading it and cutting it, guys. And you can hear that it sounds a little weird where I had little bitty areas that I missed on the hair, but it cut fine in my test. So, there we go. So over here on Design Bundles, you're going to go in and you're going to type in Bestie Clip Art. And it's going to bring up tons, tons and tons and tons. Um, you have lots of different designers in here. And again, you can mix and match these pieces. Why did I spray it before I cut it, Myrna? Fantastic question.
Because when you spray and seal your material, if you've already cut it, you're sealing the edges. So when you drop it in water, it's not going to slide off of there. It's going to hang and be stuck on the edges and your water slide is going to rip. You always want to do your sealing before you cut. A clear acrylic splitter. Yes, they have, uh, they have dogs. A clear acrylic sealer is what you want to use. You don't want to use Mod Podge. I don't want anybody to get confused. While that's cutting, let me run and get what I used. brought them in and I didn't but yes they have dogs cats Louise they have you name it they have it they have ski boots and swings and you name it it's like playing with paper dolls guys but they have tons of stuff mermaid um, you name it baseball shirts angel wings flowers cups bunny ears lots of fun stuff Okay, so that's finished cutting. Let's go back over to the overhead. I'm going to show you guys what I use. This is usually what I use. This happens to be Rust-Oleum. I prefer the Krylon, um, but I couldn't get it. Um, and I had this mat, and this will work fine for cups and things like that. On glass, I prefer the gloss, okay? Um, this, this is the Rust-Oleum brand, but it's just a clear matte acrylic spray. Um, and Krylon makes one as well. Then I found this. I had it. This is clear acrylic sealer. Okay. And it is super high shine. That's what I used for this one. I've not used this before, so I'm crossing my fingers that everything works. So let's unload that mat and bring it over. Just gonna bring our material back and that cut pretty cleanly and you can see my print and cut is on point so you always want to cut on copy paper so if it's cutting off then or it's not it's leaving a white edge stuff like that you can go in and correct it then I'm just gonna lift it right off now I will say that this is not as dry as I would like it to be. I like to let my water slide dry overnight before I actually use it, but it's been one of those days, okay? And usually on the instructions, they will also tell you um, to use warm water. I find that warm water makes mine curl on the edges and I can't get it to lay down well. So I use cool water on mine and I don't have that issue usually. So I've got an eight by 10 frame here. I got this as studio decor. So I'm pro I'm saying that's Michael's. I believe it was Michael's. It's an eight by 10 display case, S studio decor. There's a link for Michael's down below too as well. So the way that I set this up and it comes apart, you're just going to take it apart, and I printed a sunset photo for my background, for my photo, and I'm putting that on the back of this. And then my inner frame, I'm just going to set those to the side. I'm taking, I took my frame, and I cleaned my glass, of course, and I held it up in here, okay? So that it sits into the frame and then I took my Cricut pen and I went along the edge so I know where to put my water slide okay and you can see that I have a line drawn there I'm pretty sure it's on the same side and then I'm just gonna flip it over because I don't want to 
wash my line off. Okay, so I'm going to flip that over and I'm going to use this paper just so you guys can see the line on that glass so that I know where to line up. And I had already measured mine and to make sure that it would fit and it's going to go just there. I don't want to bring it to the bottom of the glass because the frame is going to cut part of it off. So I'm going to bring it up just above that line. I don't want it to sit right into it but close. So once I have that, I'm going to take my bucket of water I'm just going to drop it in there. And it's going to curl up and do all sorts of crazy things. You're just going to set it in and let it soak for a second. It takes longer with cool water than it does with warm water. But again, I don't have the, the water slide lays down better for me. But it's going to take practice, guys. So don't start with a big design. Maybe use a sheet and do a lot of little designs and get familiar with playing with it before you do a large one. But you're going to feel and it will start to slip off of the paper. Paper is going to get really, really wet. So, um, and that this is why you seal before you wet. Because if I cut this and then I seal it, I seal up all the edges and you're, it's never coming off of there. That was a new mat, Linda. The other one that I had wasn't sticky enough for the decal paper. And you can, hopefully you guys can see that. I'm just kind of wiggle it. You see how it's wiggling on there? It's ready to come off of there. So I'm just going to take it out and move my water out of the way. I'm going to lay it down onto the glass. Okay. And I laid it up there higher than what it needs to be. And then I'm just going to kind of slip it off of that paper. And then try to grab that paper. You can see I'm just kind of grabbing it with my fingernail. And just slipping it right out from under. You want to do it carefully. Try not to wrinkle like I just did because that makes life difficult. Just slide it out. And I'm going to have an air bubble where that lifted up, but that's okay. And then I just, I'm just going to dampen the top a little bit with some water. And I have a this is a plaid or a Mod Podge brush. It's stiff. You can use that. You can use, um, you can use, try to get this where I want it, um, a sponge brush. But I'm just smoothing this out, trying to get it evened up in here. You want to be gentle with it if it's not moving easily for you. You may need to toss a little bit more water on it. You can even wet your brush. You just want to make sure that it's everything is laying down nice and flat and no air bubbles under it. Okay. And then I'm going to take my paper towel I'm just going to start blotting. Now we'll take this again two to three days to dry. Ooh, my paper towel may have messed with that a little bit. Don't lay your paper towel completely on it like I did. Just kind of blot, and it may be this Mod Podge sealer too. I don't know. Again, I haven't used it before, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. I know the Krylon Crystal Clear comes out crystal clear, and I haven't had any issues with it. Make sure there are no wrinkles, and then you're going to let that dry. Like I said, two or three days, guys. I 
know what's wrong with mine. It's because I didn't let it cure for two or three days. I mean, overnight. My, you can see that cloudiness in there. That is that Mod Podge. I don't recommend using it. I don't like it. I can tell you right now I don't like it. It may clear up afterwards. Use Krylon or use uh, the Rust-Oleum. But you're going to let it dry. You're going to pop your frame in. Pop in your frame piece. Then your photo. I don't like the Mod Podge. It's trying to turn cloudy on it. Everything I do whenever I use Mod Podge tries to go south. And then when you flip it over, you have that faint look of that on there. And if you want the darker look, then you can have that. I wanted the photo to be seen with mine. But you can use the white and get a more brilliant image. Okay? But you won't see. If you use the Krylon, I don't know if it's picking it up. See this cloudiness in there? You won't see that with the Krylon. And it is showing. And it may dissipate and go away after it dries overnight with the Mod Podge. I'll let you guys know. Um... I'll let you know if it, it the cloudiness in this white area, the part that we made white to put the wording on, if that goes away, I'll let you guys know. But right now, I don't like the Mod Podge brand. Make sure you get the Rust-Oleum in gloss. If you're doing glass, make sure you get the gloss, not the matte. If you're doing cups or something like that and putting epoxy over it, the matte is fine. Yeah, Mod Podge, it has its place in crafting, um, but it also has places where it shouldn't be used. But I still like the way that it turned out. And if it doesn't clear up, I'm just going to soak it in water and then soak it off and start over. <laughs> I forgot to clean off my marker from my pen. You just need a little bit of alcohol on a paper towel, and then you can go in and clean that off and it'll take the ink right off of it. It's just for you to line up, nothing more. So did that answer everybody's questions on how to do the water slides? Now I have another quicker tutorial if you guys need, be gentle with it. Be gentle and you'll be fine. Uh, yes, Susan, that would be really pretty. But there are tons of things that you can do with uh, water slides, guys. You can do cups. Um, again, they will... Water slide material, it, it's my opinion, water slide material is for decorative purposes and not for um, daily use. And I will even show you guys on the back of here, it tells you all the steps in your instruction sheet on how to do these. And it will tell you to get rid of the air bubbles and the water and all that stuff, which we did. Make sure you get rid of all of those. And then you can bake it for 10 to 15 minutes, okay? But you don't have to bake it for 10 to 15 minutes. It says... Uh, right here. You can dry your ink with a hair dryer and then finish the transfer within 12 hours after you've printed it or it, it may not release. It may not have a way to release. And what it's saying, the ink, it kind of makes that wet and you want to spray it and cut it. And that's like I said, I, I kind of wait, you know, overnight, do it the next morning or I get up and let it dry for three or four hours so that it's not tacky. And then um, you can do it. Mine was still a little tacky, and that might be my Mod Podge problem, too. It may not be Mod Podge on that one. 
um, spray. They use, say, gloss oil, which is uh, actually a acrylic spray paint. And they tell you an auto spray paint. Um, dry with air dryer, soak it in water. Spread it. Da, 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 da. Oh, there it is. You can bake it in the oven at uh, 100 to 110 Celsius. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's 200 to 15 uh, Fahrenheit. Or let it dry by nature for one to three days. Okay? So baking it in the oven is not going to change. And I really wouldn't bake my acrylic spray in the oven, so... Yeah, the only, that's the only thing I use Mod Podge for, Pat, is for um, decoupage or like the fabric on plates and stuff like that. I don't have any problem with the, that. Um, but um, as far as any using it for anything else, I've, it, I've never had good luck with it. But again, this might be my problem. I bought, I don't know if I bought this or somebody gave it to me. Um... And it may be that I just didn't let it cure long enough. It may need longer to cure than what I could do. And that might be why it clouded up on me a little bit. Will it darken when it dries? Um, probably not while you were at the sunset. That's what I did so that it would be subtle and you could still see the picture through it. If you want it to pop, and be darker image where it looks more of um, like on a paper print, then you need to use the white base material and not the transparent. They make two. So if you want it to pop more, use the white material. Let's see if I can, let's take you guys over there and I'll just show it to you. Uh, let's see. Right here, let's go over to Okay. And oh, not that kind of water slide. I want decal. I use this one in the white, the royal elements. Don't ask me why, but I do. Oh, that's printable vinyl. Don't want that one. Uh, right here, you can see you can put it on candles, different stuff. Here it is in the white right here. I think they were out, and that's why I had the royal elements, is because they were out. Um, and they're a little bit less expensive. You get 20 sheets, and it's the white color. And you can see how much more uh, vibrant it is on this. So you're going to get different looks on different items. It's just going to depend on your use. It's the same as um, your HTV, your printable HTVs. You have one for lights, one for darks. One is on an almost transparent background and one is on a white background. So those are your differences. I have not tried these other brands. I like the Rolarius. I, I haven't had any issues with it. And then if you have a laser printer, here is a laser printer water slide. So pay attention when you're buying. If you're inkjet, you want inkjet. If you're laser, you want laser. And you want to pay attention if you're buying for transparent or white. I buy both. That way, no matter what my project is, I have the right material for it. Can you spray the finished cup or whatever for the for it to seal it? Um, Diana, the only way that I know that water slide is protected completely is if you epoxy over it. Um, let's see. Let me pull up.
me pull up a right here. This one right here. Eh. Let me skip that ad. Maybe we can get to it. I did the crackle cup here and I came back and I'm putting the water slide on this cup, but then I epoxied over it. So, um, in order to epoxy over it, that's the only way I know that you can keep it from being damaged. Again, brush from the inside. Oh, that was when I injured my hand too. Bake it. So but you can see here it is with yeah. it covered with the epoxy and then that's the only way that's not going to end up with more damage but you're you're actually sealing the water slide before you cut it and put it on there Diana so spraying more acrylic on it's really not the better your acrylic is and I, I like to say the heavier, the more you're going to feel it on the cup. The thinner your layers are and the more even they are, you're not going to feel it. Could you use clear sticker paper? You can, Tammy, but if you have an inkjet printer and that gets wet, then you're going to have an issue with your ink running. You would need to use printable vinyl with laminate. Um, and let me show you guys that. That is another option. Let's, let me pull up a browser here and take you guys over. Right here, Brilliant Vinyl. If you come over here to adhesive vinyls and go to the inkjet printable, right here you see Starcraft. This is a matte and a gloss and then the matte. These two with the black Starcraft are your laminates. This is your printable material. So you're going to print it on this printable adhesive vinyl and then you're going to place this clear laminate over the sheet and then cut it. So basically it's the same thing with vinyl instead of a um, water slide, except that you're, you're going to print it and put the laminate over the top rather than an ac acrylic spray, and then you're going to just stick it on. Yeah, you can see the edges with clear sticker paper. You sure can. Yeah, if you're, your acrylic spray, that's why I say I like the Krylon. Krylon makes one that's called Crystal Clear. Crystal Clear. And it is, to me, the best one. I'm just out, and I haven't gone out to get more. Right here, this is the one. This is my favorite for water slides. The other clears are perfectly fine for other things, but this is the one that I like for water slide. I put, I used this and put it on actual glass, and after it dried, it was hard to see where my edges were. And you can get this at Amazon too. I just, I don't know. I don't even know where I went, Granger. Where did I get my turner for the epoxy cups? Um, that one is an older one that I have, and I got it from Texas Laser Studio. But I have found... Um, a new one that I've been using and I really, really like it.
and that's not it. It's similar to this, but it's pink and it has the adjustable arm on it, right? That, nope. Let me click on one of those and see if it will bring up the ones that I'm talking about. It's almost just like this, except these have, are movable on it. And I, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, don't remember the name. Here it is. This one's just white. That's the difference. Right here with the slider so that you can adjust it for a short cup or a long cup or a fat cup it's adjustable and I have not had any problems out of these I haven't had any problems out of my Texas laser studio ones either I, th I think the one that I was using in that video I don't use it anymore because I think I literally wore it out I need to replace the motor on it Thing else I would have to search through a ton especially since we've had COVID what is the number on this one I can give you a link let me go in and grab a link for that one if it'll let me log in that's on Chrome that's that brow, I don't use the Chrome browser and it's so old it won't even let me log in because I've changed my password so many times. Let's see. Let me go. I am searching for the actual one I purchased. Give me just one second. Let me go. Hmm. Says I haven't ordered one. <laughs> Yes, I have. There it is. That one's unavailable. Ah, oh, there it is. It's not unavailable. Let me get you a link. There's the there's the one I got right there. It's probably not going to let me post this link, guys, but I will try. Oops. There, there's our chat. <laughs> I posted it. Maybe it'll show up. Maybe it won't. Hopefully that you can use that. But that's the one I got. I love it. I got that one in the double. The double's not available right now. So tons of things that you can do with water slide. Again, you can put them on cups. You can put them on frames. You can put them on candles. Um, you can put them on the lid of your maker. Just be very careful. Don't get your maker wet. Put a paper towel or a towel down there for any drippage. Don't get any water inside your maker. Um, 
There, there are lots of things that you can do, okay? Tons of things that you can do. Again, it's not for everyday use. That's my opinion. You can do a test. Cut a sheet of, cut yourself a test sheet, guys, and learn to work with the material, placing it on different things, and then use it. Put it on a cup and use it daily and see how it holds up for you. Especially if you plan to sell, you should always test what you're selling before you sell it. Perfect your craft and make sure it's going to hold up. You don't want to do something brand new that's out, on, out there and start selling it immediately without knowing what's going to happen to it in three months or six months with everyday use. Um, always research before you, before you toss it out there. Um, they, uh, Tammy, a lot of them are layering up 651 vinyl. Um, you can use the printable vinyl with the laminate, which is what I would probably use because I can print it and then I can put that laminate over it, especially for a mixer. I don't have to worry about, um, food and stuff getting into the layered parts and then when I try to wipe it out me messing up the vinyl so with that laminate on it you can wipe it right off that laminate is super super tough um, it doesn't attract dirt stuff doesn't stick to it like it does other and it's UV protected it's not showing for the pink turner yeah I will see if I can put it in the comments below, Diana. Uh, as soon as the video's over, I will pop in there and do it. I will add it to the comments for you. Or you can message me on Messenger and I'll give it to you that way as well. You use vinyl on both of yours? Yeah, Andrea, you can use vinyl. Vinyl's the way to go for a lot of people. Uh, but if it has lots of little little bitty edges and stuff like that or thin lines, you might want to go with a printable. Anything with thin lines, I prefer printables. It popped up okay for you, Sue? Maybe she's on um, mobile or something and it didn't open. Okay, does anybody have any other questions? I know that this tutorial ran a little bit longer than normal. Um, that happens when we're doing something from start to finish. Um, that's a little more complicated than your everyday gluing a project together. Um, that... That's for the turner right there. Yes, Nodway. That's it, Kim. Nodway. I do have an Amazon link below. You can click on it and you can go there. No problem. None at all. So, if anybody um, has any questions or anything that we didn't answer, you can come back. And it does look like that's starting to clear up a little bit, guys. So maybe it was just that I rushed my project and didn't give mine time to cure enough. So it's clearing up down here on the bottom. It may be where I handled it too hard. All right. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me. Thank you to my moderators. Thank you all to all my supporters on Patreon, Kofi, and on my YouTube memberships. Greatly appreciate you guys. Yay, Diana. If you guys think of any question that you forgot to ask me, don't hesitate to message me or post it up in chat, and I'll be happy to help you out. And as always, if you need a quick tutorial on anything, please use the suggestion box we put in the announcements, and we will get to it as soon as possible. You guys have a wonderful night. Thanks for joining me.